Excuse me, but is this some kind of... Truck? No joke, lady, no joke. Get in there. Ben. And I will all valuables, including cash and credit cards, and you'll come to no harm. Resist, and it's all up with you. Only too obliged. Take anything you want. What you got? Not a lot, really, in the way of small items. My mobile's rather old and really needs replacing. You're welcome to it. I, um, I don't go in for all these newfangled gadgets, I'm afraid. I'm rather old-fashioned. Oh, well, you better own up. Well, yes, honesty is the best policy. It's bloody hot warm. in here. It is a bit on the warm side, yes. That mask must be very uncomfortable. Why don't you take it off? Uh, Make it much more uh, at home. Uh, how do I know I can trust you? Uh, all right, I'll take a chance. Here, hold this a minute. Oh, not an egg. Oh, oh, oh yeah, give me that. Right, that's a lot better. I say, you look a bit done in, old chap. Why don't you just sit down here and make yourself at home and I'll make you a nice cup of coffee. Never drink the stuff. You haven't got a glass of milk by any chance, have you? Ah, no problem. Just you relax and I'll fetch you a nice glass of Tesco's milk. Organic, of course. you know. <laughs> don't get much of that these days. I mean, I come from the East End, you know. I mean, you could go around anybody's family mile when I was a kid and you'd be treated r real well. <laughs> Those days are gone. Ah, yes, yes. The decline of the extended family, the breakup of the old established working communities and the assertion of individual rights set against social responsibility have uh, had devastating results for traditional culture. What? Yeah, all right. It's good milk, this. No, you're all right, Governor. What's your name? Oswald. I'm Sam. I don't like barging in like this on people, but, well, these are hard times, you know, and a man's got to make a living. I ain't bloody welfare. Know what I mean? I do indeed, Sam. But tell me, uh, aren't you getting a bit old for this sort of thing? I doubt you've had many opportunities to invest in a secure retirement. Retirement? Don't talk to me of retirement. Not while I've got me health and strength. Ah, uh, we all grow old, Sam. Tell me, I've a feeling you've done a fair bit of time in your long... You're talking prison, ain't you? Yeah. I've done me porridge. In and out. More in than out, I admit. But it ain't a bad life. Three meals a day, and if you're a good boy, a bit of telly at night. That bloody East Enders mind you a lot of crap. I imagine that external factors determined you upon a life of crime. Precisely. The cycle of deprivation, poor housing without sustainable income, to see you over the uh, vicissitudes of a precarious existence and... Uh, and uh, Inadequate education, absence of spiritual and moral guidance, plus the indifference of a world committed to self-indulgence and personal gain. You've got it in one, Oswald. Ah, they've taught you well, Sam. I'm an educational psychologist, and I have interviewed many men like you. Violent men, men with guns. Uh, well, I'm not a violent man. It's, it's only a toy, you know, but... I'm real sorry if I scared you. Oh, that's all right, Sam. I understand. Would you like another glass of milk? 
All right. Listen, I'd like to ask you something. Do you like games? Uh, I like watching Fulham on the telly. Yeah. Yes, but uh, taking part, though. As a boy, did you did you play charades, uh, snakes and ladders, uh, I spy with my little eye? Yeah. Used to kick a ball around in the street, that was about it. I have a theory. Look, how would you like to play a few games with me, here and now? What are you getting at? For example, we could start with something you're familiar with, like football. Yeah. All right, if you like. Come on, then. This way. somewhere and I'll come and find you. All right, but no looking. Try it again. Yeah, one more chance. Try it again. Okay, you go up there. He won't find me. Oh, I'll never find him. I'll never find him. Ha ha ha! I got you that time, Oswald! Ha <laughs> ha You didn't get me, did you? Ha <laughs> ha I enjoyed that. Now let's do it again. Let's do it again. Come on. Good, all right. What about going up to the house? Plenty of places to hide there. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Come on in. Come on. Yeah, man. 
You would never have found me. You wouldn't have got me. <laughs> I caught you that time. I could have left you up there all day. Ah, I wouldn't have stopped. I'd have got out through the roof. <laughs> you won't beat me, chump. Well, I really beat you, didn't I? Snap! Snap! <laughs> the game's mine. <laughs> well, what uh, game did you like best, Sam? Uh, hiding. <laughs> you couldn't find me, could you? But I gave you one of it. You gave me a chance, and not to spoil it for you. <laughs> you are most elusive. I know a particular game we could play, if you like. Uh, what are you getting here? Told you. Take you on a journey in my car. Move you to a particular spot, and you have to guess where we are before I remove the blindfold. Uh, I don't get it. Where's the catch? There's no catch. It'll be great fun. You'll enjoy it a lot. There'll be many surprises. Well, it's been all right so far. All right then. Give it a go. All right, come on, let's go. Thank you. 
Certainly is. Ah, oh, I thought it was the Isle of Wight. You sure it's France? You have no sense of geography, sir. Look at this. Oh, I'm very pleased. I really am. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you for bringing me to all these lovely spots. You Not are, at all. You're really good, you are. Don't Oswald. mention it. Is there anything else to see? Ah, there is one more thing, Sam. One little thing. <laughs> Who's that? Detective Superintendent Fox, at your service. Goodbye, Sam. You're better off in prison. I'll come and visit you. You'll have lots of deli, three meals a day, and plenty of porridge. Organic, of course. Of course.